Okay, hi everybody, it's uh, Jeff, and I'm going to show a couple of examples of how I use objects in order to explain what I do for my job. Uh, this is kind of really important if you've got a job that's a bit abstract and it's hard for people, you know, in your in your circle of family and friends or whatever to understand what you do. Uh, I just find that these concrete objects just help, you know, make that possible to kind of relate to what I do. Uh, and my kids, my kids are teenagers now, discovering what I do years later because I'm using objects to explain it. Um, and of course, uh, when I explain it, use these objects, it's not always, um, you know, I'm not actually doing these things. It's just helping people understand outside of my job, outside of my peers, outside of my colleagues, what I do, you know, because it's not always easy. So here are a few things, uh, and this is going to be a lot uh, related to the computer and language technology industry, okay? See this dictionary, a paper dictionary? Well, I help develop um, software dictionaries that you use. They're, they're databases, but it's a dictionary that you, that you um, use to be able to um, that you build and create in order to be able to use all the, the words and the vocabulary in that dictionary, um, especially for companies like I do automotive dictionaries and uh, IT dictionaries and computer science dictionaries and, um, and medical dictionaries and that kind of things. I build these dictionaries, but you know, electronic versions of them so that you can be able, so companies can be able to use them in their marketing uh, uh, documentation and in their, in their, in their product documentation. And in their videos that they go ahead and do for um, product videos and all this. So they, they have a dictionary that's, that's usable in all these different platforms that they have to communicate what they're doing about their products and services. That's what I do. So the first thing I do is say, see this watch? This is the watch that, this is the universal translator that, that Captain Kirk used. Or this is what the MacGyver had. Or the Flintstones or the Jetsons. Or, um, or uh, uh, whatever, all those people in the past. I help build the computer chip in this thing that helps, to, that allows all of these people in science fiction films or on the TV to talk with the people on the other planets uh, in another language. That's what I do. Okay. Um, another example, what I say. So here on my phone, you know. Alexa and Siri and all of these, you know, speech to text, you know, text conversion um, uh, apps that when you talk, it actually types down on the screen for you. I do that. Um, but I do it not only for major international languages, but I also do it for minority languages. A lot, you know, try to do it for as many minority languages as possible. And I did it for Haitian Creole. Another example I say is, here on this phone, if you go to um, uh, download the Microsoft Translator app or the Google app, especially the Microsoft Translator one, um, you know you can translate from any language to another language, and a lot of them with spoken, you just talk to it. Uh, I put Haitian Creole into those apps, so I help put Haitian Creole into those apps, and lots of apps. It's on YouTube Studio, it's in Facebook, all those translation things for Haitian Creole are coming to the work I do. That's another example that I say. Okay. Another way I explain this is, um, you know, you can see this, uh, these earbuds here, you know, so see those things. And my goal is usually to uh, be able to take, um, to take, uh, put translation systems into these earbuds, the microphone earbuds, so that you can go ahead and talk and translate into another language and talk with the people. That's what I do. Another example that I try to say, um, and staying again here in the kind of the, the, the computer kind of things, is um, you know I try to work on uh, these kinds of little devices here that you can have um, that you can plug into your computer here. Um, and this kind of a, this is a Wi-Fi generated, uh, you know, kind of this is a Wi-Fi generated 4G router. But the goal is to have like a transition system on this thing that you can actually be doing. Uh, connecting to Google Translator, Microsoft Translator directly in here without having to have, you know, other, other, you have to be connected to the, to the, to the internet with your computer. Another example I say, is this little card here, this little SIM card, lots of, you know what that SIM card is, which you put in your computer and sometimes in your, in your phone. I 
my goal is usually to help put a transition system like Google Translate onto a little SIM card like this. And then you can put it in your computer and put it in your phone and you can do automatic translation with it on the card without having to connect to the internet have to worry you don't have to worry about having um, you know intellectual property problems and copyright problems and all this uh, data that you don't want to do you just have it running on this card directly on with your phone or your computer your tablet or your iPod or your i um, your, your iPad or whatever um, or your iPhone another example I say see this this um, I've got a hard disk right here plugged into my computer a USB hard disk um, Kind of hard drive, it's an external hard drive. I build computer systems that you can, you know, transition system you can put on that. So you can plug in the computer, you can run, uh, you run the whole transition system directly on your computer, just plugged in. Uh, so you don't have to connect with Google and, and Google and Microsoft online or you know whatever to be able to do the translation of subtitles or text or documents or whatever. You can just plug it in and make it happen. I help build. You know the translation chip that that is used to make that headset and microphone allow you to translate while you're talking on Skype and Zoom and Teams and all these different um, you know systems. I also help build uh, you know for the I also do the speech to text things for the subtitles so it generates speech to text um, in those headphones while you're talking through. Um, you know, these different systems it generates and puts it on the screen for you. So another one of the examples I say, you know, here, you know, think of Iron Man, you know, he's got his whole suit on and he's, you can see when he's talking, he's flying, he's in this helmet, you know, and you can see him th and he's, 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 um, you know, he's talking to Jarvis and Jarvis is talking back to him and, um, and, uh, and he says, I want to make a phone call and he makes a phone call. And imagine if he wants to make a phone call and talk to somebody in another language in another country because usually it's always in English but or it's actually dubbed into French or whatever other language. But imagine if you actually want to do the real translation with the suit with Jarvis. I help you know um, do that. I help Jarvis do the translation with a computer program underneath or a chip to make it happen. Or you know Spider Man with his you know female version voice of Jarvis. I didn't actually want I can't remember what it's called. I, I I gotta watch the uh, Spider-Man film again to see what the or the, the last Iron Man or whatever the, the Avengers uh, movie is to see what the name of the thing is, uh, whatever they you know say his the name of his um, his computer thing. Maybe it's just Jarvis with a female voice. So I help you know Spider-Man talk with the you know, the people on the other planets and stuff when he's going to the other planets or whatever or other um you know um, universes you know or metaverses I guess it's called. Um, dimensions um, to talk with them in other languages uh, in other countries and planets um, I help build that you know computer program to make him be able to talk and talk with them as, as the different uh, people in different languages so the moral of the story I mean here really of this is find whatever object you need that's able to help you explain what you do uh, and that's why I say a lot when you give pitches and stuff, come with a, uh, for people that do food uh, recycling, come with an apple or come with a, you know, a, a bottle of milk or something to show the real thing. Uh, find these, um, you know, these props. We call them props in, in theater and films and uh, use props. Use these physical objects to be able to explain what you do. It really helps people identify with, um, with what you do. And um, I'm going to actually, um, okay, right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain here. I'm going to put it at the same time because I don't, because it's I've got another video that I actually show this. But I'm just going to what is, explain here. I'm going to put another video embedded into this video to show what I'm doing. And here was the, here was the example of my, um, of the, uh, I tell about my Microsoft Translator t-shirt story of how I got the Microsoft Translator t-shirt. And uh, so I'm going to just going to kind of show this video while it's going right here. Uh, to show these examples of what I was doing, um, and it, it, I use the T-shirt uh, a lot uh, in order to explain what I do because you know these are again uh, yeah, it's the yeah, to, to have a Microsoft Translator T-shirt you got to be part of the Microsoft Translator team. So um, so that just is a, a great example. Have T-shirts if you want to explain what you do. Have T-shirts to explain what you do. Um, these are just great examples of, um, and especially if they're visible translators. If I have a, I, I need to work out right now getting a Google Translate T-shirt. I mean, that would just 
there would be no problem. If I wore that t-shirt, I'd just need you know, like two or three of t-shirts I can wear them whenever and you know, wash them whatever. And I would have no problem explaining that to you anymore because Google Transit is so well known. But these kinds of things are just, you know, these, these types of, um, uh, again, physical objects, examples, make it easy for people to understand what you do. Uh, in, in your, or if you've got a job that's just not easy to explain, it's a little more abstract or just doesn't have any, you know, concrete value that people can see every single day as deliverable. So, um, like doctors and pharmacists and, you know, people working in the food industry and, you know, and, uh, medical technology, my dad, and I see that whole list. I think, as I said in the, in the, um, in my video about how to, um, how to avoid the, uh, the, you know, the language industry visibility, right? I gave a whole bunch of examples in there. It's these kinds of jobs. You just, you need something, some props to be able to explain. Hope that helps come up with your own, figure out what it, it helps you to best communicate what you do to your circles of, you know, acquaintances, families and friends and all the rest of the people in the world.